scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. The body is still rich. The healing anointing is still in the body. It just left your church because your pastor is not willing to accept that he needs impartation of the healing anointing. Are we together? Your pastor has been lying that he's having a heavy healing anointing and is not telling in the stories. And we men of God hate submission. We hate the fact that we can say, I was ministered to and this ministration opened me to this new possibility. We would rather say, I labored in the secret place and God gave it to me. Meaning I am the custodian of it is a lie. When Jesus appeared to Paul, he told Paul, I recommend you to somebody in the body of Christ. Go and wait there three days. You would think that Jesus' appearing will mean Paul did not need any man again. But God still drove him. So there are people who have gotten the dimension of the Holy Spirit. But they have ignored Papa Kumui simply because they do not like him. And the lapse of what he represents to the body is killing them. There is a lot of carnality and unseriousness. Because they have refused to know that there is such a provision in the body. There are men who have insulted Bishop Oyedeko and do not know, ah, God said my people be rich. No, we are going to heaven. They are poor, they are broke, the ministry can increase. They have finished all their prayer, all that is needed for the ministry to thrive is finances. But they have ignored this provision in the body. Who is God speaking to tonight? See, let me tell you why suffer forever when the remedy has been paid for why not open your eyes and humble yourself and allow the spirit of God to show you the system he has built to tap in, in the multifaceted possibilities look at me I say this with all humility there are impotent men and barren women who would die impotent and die barren forever. I say it with every sense of apology. And I say it with every sense of honor. The, the humility to tap the provision that is in the body of Christ. I once met a woman years ago. I think it was in a meeting. Quite a long time. Let me tell you, I don't know what kind of grace was on this mama. But if she prays for you for pregnancy, just go and start buying baby clothes. Because you must give birth. It's, the question now is whether it's twins or triplets. Not that you'll be pregnant. There is a provision like that in the body. Is God speaking to us? Have you heard people here? Look at that lady saying she made her papers. She knew what she wrote. Sometimes it's not your effort. Sometimes it's the cloud that provides certain possibilities. See that? Those who know this never get arrogant. You know. Let me tell you something. I have seen... There's one man of God outside of this country. He's Benny Hinson. True son. Not just fake stories. True son. That guy is not educated that guy you will know that this guy does not understand the system of church growth but because he has been able to identify with what benihin represents to the body that guy carries a tangible healing anointing you see the testimonies in his church you would think he's a charm 
because he has identified that grace and that office so let me tell you how satan destroys us the devil creates a system that covers away these possibilities are we together through pride hatred for the body resentment and through pastors we may be well-meaning and sincere but he covers us so as far as your spiritual growth is concerned and the part of spiritual progress that an a pastor has earmarked for you this is all he has shown you to be the possibilities in christ so you have to respect what you have been given but you know you are dying of pest you know you are not communicating there is no revelation in your life there is no prayer there is no access to the prophetic now you can stand there your progress is based on how much of the body of Christ you have been open to you will see somebody will come overnight who does not even have he has not paid half the price you have paid but he's foolish enough to contact this guy he will carry a grace and jump and move and you say no way how can a young man be a millionaire in four months i don't believe this these guys are 419 don't say they are 419 ers if you have not tapped into the provision in the body of christ is it not a prophet that said by this time tomorrow have you not read it in your bible not to a person to a nation israel a nation that is a desert land till today is still exporting food and nigeria 80 percent of the food we eat is exported israel is in a desert land because there is something upon abraham that landed upon them do they believe in god no you will imagine let me tell you those who have gone to israel you know those who are helping you in the facilitation they are not born again when they watch africans come and cry on the wailing wall they wonder oh jesus my savior they are just waiting for you to give them their money they don't believe in god but they are part of a tribe that god has covenanted with himself that they will keep seeing certain possibilities koinonia are you hearing what i'm saying i give you a guarantee if you pay attention to what i'm saying your life will rise like day and night my only prayer is that you will not suspect yourself when you are rising there is a way you rise too fast that you turn and say ah, i hope i didn't put my hand in anything that is ungodly i can't understand why my life is rising like this listen whatever you see happening in the life of one man in christ came from the body is reproducible it is it has the ability to be transferred and it has the ability to be recreated if you understand the laws that govern it people kept criticizing william branham i didn't used to work so much in the prophetic here and there one word of knowledge everybody teaches on william branham and they made it look as if the guy backslided went to hell he's in fact is i've read william branham's books i've explored his materials left right and center including those where there were a lot of erroneous propositions but let me tell you something the earth will hardly find a meek man like william branham very few prophets on earth today have come near the shoes of william branham it's just that there was no mechanism of preserving their audios and their videos like we do now so you may just watch one or two videos where you don't see anything those men live like gods upon the earth they are the ones the bible says the earth is not worthy of are we together William Branham. Every time people criticize him, he brought error to the body. Yes, there were imbalances, but he's a man. One day I was watching his video. I think it was a retreat. Heavily under the anointing, I was watching his video and something happened. As I was looking at him, I said, oh God, but there is, we have, we have insulted the anointing out of this man. There are, there are possibilities that are supposed to come to the body that we ignore because of our our attitude of of that judgmental cynical attitude we inherited from our parents that is still destroying people and churches today while i was watching something happened now i have a lot of encounters i live in this realm but then it was like it was like you know how you pour oil on someone but it was such a cold sensation 
not just the sensation you have. I knew something was happening. I was looking at this man. My eyes were heavy with tears. And it's as if it's a machine going down your body. Slowly. It took maybe about 30 minutes to go down and reach my feet. I didn't know what had happened. And every time, let me teach you a secret. Whenever you have an encounter, you don't understand. Pray in tongues. Pray in tongues. Praying in tongues will begin to give meaning to it. Not, not pray for five minutes and sleep. I mean, stand up and pray. It, it's like a shell. You are opening it up spiritually. And your mind will begin to receive the impulses that have been communicated to your spirit. I began to pray. And the next meeting I would go for, it was, it was, like, it was like somebody just washed my eyes with water. And all of a sudden, I saw that there was a heightened prophetic dimension. A heightened ability. And I said, wow, something happened. I believe I've not even started tapping into 100 of that impartation that I got. So I'm still aligning more. By the time I align fully, my life will release the full potential of what had come. Because let me tell you, mantles depend on certain atmosphere to work. Um, I can receive a mantle, listen. I can receive a mantle, but if my mind is not developed, I will limit the access to that mantle finding expression. Are we together? So I can function and you may see me. You can carry the anointing upon my life and produce more results because the anointing is coming on a body that has been better prepared. Moses was his camera, so he could not manifest the prophetic anointing on him so much. But when that anointing now came on 70 people, they could not stand. That's what one man was carrying, yet he didn't prophesy. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Say after me, the body of Christ has been vested with every dimension required to represent God. Say it again, the body of Christ has been vested with every dimension required to represent Christ. Are we together? Now, it's, your, it's up to you to choose what dimension you desire to see in your life. A very shared a testimony, her family, who at this time of Nigeria's economy will call you to send money free. That is not happening in your life does not mean it's not happening. Let me tell you, there are people, this is the happiest year of their life. I can tell you that. Now, it's always insulting when results are not happening in your life and are happening close to you. So you react to it with criticism, you react to it with resentment, but the key is to find out what are you doing. Someone sent me a text and said, um, Apostle, I want you to confirm this. It's like the love of men is waxing cold in the body of Christ. I said, that's an error. Go and think again. The church is rising powerfully. You are the only one going down. Find out what you are not doing. People are praying more than ever before. Oh, come on. Revelation is coming upon the body more than before. Don't come up with your misguided that the church is going down. Who is the church? Don't say the church. Say, I, as a member of the church, is hot. Like you can say, I have headache. And then the body can come together and help you. And say, it is true, you have headache. Let's bring you out. Don't use your headache to say the body is sick. Because let me tell you, the church is rising. What I'm teaching you will change your life. Look at our, our brother, this gentleman. Come, sir. You're the person who gave that testimony? Come. This guy came from Benway State. All the way. About to destroy... Come, 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 come. How are you? This guy about to destroy himself to commit suicide. Are you seeing that now? If this guy committed suicide and died, what do you think will happen? We are going to sing. Pass will we pass from the earth and its folly. That's we are carrying his grave now. Remember by what? Here lies. What's your name? Our brother James. He died. It's a warning to all of us. No, no, no. I'm not mocking. Pay attention to what I'm saying. This guy, whereas one message one message held the possibility of reviving his life please listen i'm saying this with every sense of passion because we still need to press we have 
stop them. There are some of us who carry these mantles, but they are not developed enough to start serving the body. So your lack of prayer is making the body die in a certain way. This message is a, is a call to rise and develop your contribution to making the body rise. Imagine if I was a drunkard. Or imagine that I started drinking January 1st because I'm weary. The message that would need to help this guy. Do you know standing here may be a pastor or a prophet to nations. So as I, as I refuse to manifest and he dies, the nation tied to him dies. The purposes of God for that nation dies. Look at the ripple effect. Are we together? He has come now. And you can see that this guy is going to catch fire tonight. No, 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 he will. It's not, we have it. This is what I'm saying. You must know what you have as given by God. It's not for pride. It's to distribute to the body. He says, such as I have, this is, you can pray for it somewhere else because it's not part of the spiritual composition of that ministry. But here we have it. It was given. It's an office. The same way there are some things that are not in koinonia. If we need it here, we must open our hearts to other members of the body with all humility. There are some things that don't happen as a gift here in koinonia. They happen through prayer. We pray and tap. But there are ministries, it happens like breathing. Some of you receive a lot of testimonies. If you see someone rolling under the anointing in koinonia, you will not be surprised. Because it's an office. There are churches, if one person is rolling, the pastor says, I've been telling you that God has increased me. I've been saying this thing. Now, it's not to mock, it's not, it's not mockery. I'm saying there are spiritual possibilities. How you know what is available in a ministry is what the people in that ministry trivialize. Because they've seen it so much. It's in abundance. You don't pray for it. You don't fast for it. You enter this place and you are shaking like a leaf. Because there is a covenant that makes this possible. This is a gentleman. Now, if I'm a stupid man of God, I'm going to do two things. And this is a warning to many pastors. When this guy comes now, because he has come to Koinonia, let me tell you what most foolish men of God do. They try to say, you have gone to every other pastor. Are, are, you, are, are you seeing where we destroy the body now? You have gone to every other man. But when you came to Koinonia, everybody rises. And me, who is the champion you are talking about, I now rise. Those who do that, God is soon coming for them. Because that attitude is part of why the body does not grow. So, when this brother comes now, I do not isolate my impact to his life as though I'm different from the body. I just tell him, no, no, no. Whatever you receive here, I hide my individualism so that the body of Christ will be glorified. It does not matter that it is Joshua Selman. The most important thing is I have represented Christ properly. Your kingdom reigns. Yes, he reigns. Through this place. brother right now we're all looking at him what a foolish man of god would do is to make him hate every other man of god who has talked to him are you seeing now i can make this guy hate every other man of god in benway state or whoever so the next time he's watching tv and he sees maybe a living faith or any ministry there what is going to say is all of you are rubbish you are wasting our time only koinonia now it looks like he's glorifying me, but he's destroying the image of Christ. I must leave this guy with an impression that makes him love the body of Christ. Because although he found an anointed man, 
although he found an anointed ministry, we hide our individualism that Christ be lifted. So as he's going to Benway, I will tell him, okay, take messages, but open your heart. God is doing great things in Benway. He's doing great things in Lagos. Don't even in a city where you think there are no people. I've gone to cities where you think God is not doing anything. But there are dangerous people in that city that God is lifting. So he comes here tonight and leaves loving the body. He comes here tonight. He receives the graces and the mantles that have been committed to this ministry. But he goes back loving the body. The next time he enters a church where the man of God is preaching. And honestly what the man of God is saying is nothing to write home about. He will understand the limitation of that man but not hate the man. So the body has risen. Because a man of God with spiritual intelligence has been able to minister to this. Listen. The ministry of the Spirit is very important. That's why you must be thoroughly worked upon by the Spirit. I can be anointed, but I will still destroy Him. Are we together? How many of us have been destroying the body of Christ with our misguided understanding? And there are many more who want to rise. And so God says, calm down. Before you rise, let me walk on you and say, God, I laid hands on somebody that day and the person fell down. I'm ready to go. And then God says, tarry ye. I'm still walking on you. The body of Christ. Every one of them holding possibilities. Like you have a doctor. Doctors write certain things and recommend other people to a hospital in India. They say there is the world-renowned eye surgeon is in India. Although I'm a consultant, I refer you to that guy. Because this situation, I want you to go and whatever he tells you to do, we can execute it here. That's the medical field. That's why they are helping people. But in the church, I can claim I'm an anointed man now. And then I look at this guy and I say, in the name of Jesus, I cast out that spirit. And then I say, it's done. You too, you know, nothing happened here. Are we together? The man said, if I be a man of God, go and launch into new dimensions. This guy goes back and starts smoking as soon as he gets to bedway because the spirit was there. Unmoved by the arrogance of the man of God. That's how we destroy many people. Someone comes and tells you, I have, I am SS. And he said, in the name of Jesus, it is done. Go. The person comes back and says, nothing happened. I say, well, you see, faithless people like you, I don't know why there are too many testimonies in my life. No, no. That's a foolish man of God. A man of God who really loves God will say, look, I will keep praying for you, but I want your heart to be open. There are still possibilities in the body. So when God says all things are possible, they are not possible just because you are a Christian. They are possible because he has distributed these dimensions to the body. God speaking to you. Please hear me brothers and sisters. You may be born again and still die in poverty if you ignore what God represents. The systems he has built. You are not going to create. Look, this guy will not pray himself into becoming excellent. No. His prayer life will not suddenly manufacture into this. His prayer life will give him the revelation that will make him come and meet this person. Are we together? This guy is excellent, but he's not going to heal the sick with balloons and stickers. He's going to heal the sick when his spirit is alive and strong. And that will happen when he acknowledges the ministry of this. Listen, meeting the people is not necessarily how to receive. Just being open to the body alone. Let me tell you something. There are ministries that I have received from even more than the members of that ministry. I have never seen their pastors. I have never gone to those ministries. But just because my heart is open. I have received wisdom from people like Dr. Mike Murdoch. I've never been to the wisdom center. I've never sat down one on one under his ministration. But my heart has been open to what he represents to the ministry. He's an apostle of wisdom. Whether you say seed, seed, seed is collecting money. I take what I believe is consumable for me. And whatever part I think is an excess, I lovingly just drive it. But I don't throw the baby and the bad water. 
I know how to receive from ministries. I tell you. This is a message for us. And God is helping us. We are going to really pray tonight. Discerning the body. Give us that scripture again. For this cause. Not for this causes. For this cause. You have written jam ten times. Who told you there is no way out? But sir, I always read. That's what you think is responsible for success alone. But there is a provision in the body. Do you believe this? I remember the doctor when he was giving his testimony. When he came and met me, he said he's going to go and write exams. I said, go and be a doctor. Listen, Korede Komaya, many of you may know him. He passed us a church in Wari. The wife of um, Bishop, um, what's his name? In Living Faith. Not Abioye. Um, Bishop Aremu. They have twins. And so she came to greet the woman. And Bishop Aremu's wife looked at Korede Komaya's wife. And he looked at her and took what the veil she was putting. Threw it on her and said, what are you doing? Go and get twins, Joe. Immediately, she was pregnant with twins. She's giving birth to twins now. Now, you have been crying for twins. But there is a woman with the mantle. She's even playing with it. Go and get twins, Joe. In the body. But there are some people saying, Lord one child whether the child is well or not just give me something that comes out of me whereas the but please i want you to take what i'm saying very seriously i am a product of many anointings i keep rising because i love the body not just because i'm anointed i was not born with every possibility in my life i honored my way through them and the key is to love the body the body may be imperfect I know there are false prophets, but the, the prophetic mantle is still in Nigeria. I know there are false apostles, but the prophetic mantle is still... I know there are money mongers, but there are still people with the prosperity mantle. Don't just, because you have one or two case studies, throw everything in the body of Christ and you destroy yourself. Is God speaking to us? You have to change your perception. Way maker, miracle worker, promise light in the darkness. That is who you are. Sing it to him. Way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. That is who you are. Gentlemen, look at me. Let me speak to you. You can choose the way people are trying to be established and be established at 45 and build your first house at 55 and die at 60 of high blood pressure. Or you can find out, Lord, is there a system you have created that can help men run? Elijah told Ahab, saddle your ass. Ahab always knew that if you must run, you run on donkeys. So he had the best donkey, but there was another system foreign to Ahab, but the prophet knew it. The Bible says the hand of God came upon him. Let me tell you something. All the methods you know is not all there is. There are faster and more effective routes to anything. I have seen men, brothers and sisters, within two years of their work with God, they have carried graces and unctions that will make other people angry and say, I sought God for ten years before the healing anointing came. I don't know how you sought him. But this brother sought him in a system that made two years become like 20 years. This is the key to advancement. If God says this is our year of multiplied grace, then there is a technology he wants to give you to run. Let me tell you, we have been working, but it's time to run. It's time to run. The key is discerning the body. The key is discerning the body. The Lord instructed me to empty my account and sow it into a particular ministry. When I did that, I was shocked. It was like charm. One month of non-stop favor. Permit me to use the word wicked favor. I've seen favor in my life. The same way I have seen pastors who just came and sat down. Some of you are like that. 
they came from other ministries. They never go to see me. But they went back. And all of a sudden, their next meeting, things just changed. One man of God went to, I think it was Bishop Oedeko or so, and sowed a seed. I shared with you the story. Oedeko said, now that you have come, is recognized that you have a church in your area. You know that looks arrogant, isn't it? But the man knows what he's saying. The man went back and in one service they had 500 newcomers. 500. 500. Listen. The men of God and the spiritual structures that carry these systems may have their arrogance. They may have their imperfections. But create a system to look beyond it. You know what you are finding. If you find God, you will find Him. If you are finding a loud, you will find Him. But for you to think all you have seen is all there is in God, you are joking. Please hear me. This thing called favor does not just fall on people because you read it in scripture. There are men carrying this thing bodily. It's like a mantle on their head. Anywhere they go, anywhere they go. We were at the airport. I was just sitting down. We were waiting for a boarding call. And while we were sitting, a gentleman just came, a man of God. He said, sorry, are you Apostle Joshua Selman? I said, ah. Somebody has come to embarrass me again. And then the person, you know, we just spoke and he just said, excuse me. He just went and put money in an envelope and brought it and dropped it. Just like that. Is he working in your life? Some of you know. Why? Because you think it must come through your personal secret place. Look, God has created, do you know the spiritual discipline it takes? For a man to carry some of these things. People have labored for you. So that by the grace of God and through the power of a corporate life. You can enter into certain possibilities. Trying to dig the well afresh. Your lifetime is not enough to enter every dimension by yourself. If it takes 10 years to catch a particular spiritual possibility. How long do you have to live? To get all of them. So God has created men. Your honor and your love for the body opens you up automatically to that dimension. Those of us who have the art of criticizing the body, you on your television and everybody, you keep scrolling channel after channel, insulting everybody. You go to church and your pastor, you look at him, saying, all these Anglican people said, they are about to just keep quiet. Look for Christ and you will find him. Look for excellence. You will find it. Look for anointing. Look for prayer. Look for these graces. And you will find them. That's what I've chosen to do. I'm, I'm like, that's why I told you I'm like a spiritual archaeologist. I go around the body of Christ with my bag of treasures. When I find it, he said they are life to those who find them. That's how we found the grace for long life. That we transported like gold from Ekiti State to Koinonia. We landed it here. I know how it came. It came from a city and a territory that have a covenant of long life. 141 years still alive. I said, no way, we must receive this. Our seed went for it. But those Yoruba people prayed for us with their... With, the mama prayed on barefoot. When it landed on my life, I knew. We are coming back from Yola. There was so much trouble, turbulence in the air. They had to turn back. The plane turned back from Yola back to Abuja. Because the turbulence was too much. Now when they carried us, I mean, it was as if we were going to drop. God is my witness. I was sleeping. Kai, the mysteries that surround my life are many. What you see is not all that there is. You try it and see. It's like Obama. You know how Obama is walking. You want to shoot him and you just die. Somebody shoots you from where you do not know. Because they are watching. The keeper of Israel. He never sleeps nor slumbers. He is watching over me. That's my testimony. The keeper of Israel. He never sleeps nor slumbers. Yeah. He is watching over me. There are men that have a covenant of deliverance with God. They will enter trouble as if there is no tomorrow. Quarter to shame, God will show up. When you have even concluded, David was such a person, Psalm 3. Many a day, he said, how many a day that trouble me? Many a day that rise up against me. 
Many are they that say, Where is his God? He said, But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me. Listen, it's not every man that said that. They didn't have it. David had it. It's called the covenant of peace. In the Hebrew, it's called the covenant of shalom. Peace. The covenant that makes God show up when a man has trouble. There is such a covenant. There is such a mantra. You need it in this Nigeria. You don't need to look for trouble. You just need to be a Nigerian. Trouble will come and find you. But sometimes you cannot defend yourself. But when that mystery is at work, you will see God turn things. It's like Ojoro. They said, no, 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 but I know this person is supposed three causes. I understand waving one, but three causes. Why you? There is something they do not understand more than the Senate of APU. I want you to believe this. Men walk upon mysteries. That's why two people can go through the same thing. Another person will die. But another person says, I don't know what happened. I was right at the edge of a breakthrough but couldn't see. My troubles held me down. The pressure led me down. God kept me. So I wouldn't let go. His mercy kept me So I wouldn't let go Listen There are lots of ladies who are saying No man has come to ask me out I know I'm not pretty, it's a lie It's a lie There are married women with ten children And somebody is still saying sorry, can we have dinner? It's a grace well, you can argue it because you went to school. I'm telling you, it's a grace. You see, this education is good, but you have to be careful. The realm of the spirit is far superior to the intellectual realm. There's a gentleman in this ministry. I've never seen somebody with that grace. There is nothing he does not do that doesn't prosper. He has done all kinds of things. If that guy sells pampas, I don't mean it in a shop from his house. There are no children here, but you will buy it. Something will make you just say, let me buy it and give somebody as a gift. That's the kind of grace he has. I know people who have their shop. They sit down alone and eat everything in the shop. Because you have business intelligence, but you have not opened up yourself to that dimension. Please, as we begin to pray, let your prayer lift you in the spirit. Where you scan for where you have ignored. And let's cry out and say, Lord, there is no prosperity in my life. I've been trying to fake it, but this thing is not there. Let it come. Do you know if it comes before miracle service, you can have a testimony that dwarfs everything. It's because you think everything you work, you work for is what you must get. There are people who have worked for things. The grace can direct them to you. For this cause, for this cause, there are women who desire men. They have six ladies, and they are about, their home is about to scatter because they are looking for a man. And the man is saying, This is your last chance. If you ever give me a girl, you are following that girl to go out of the house. Of course, that's a stupid reason. But do you know there is a woman with 12 boys? Why don't you exchange it? Who taught you that these things are not transferable? You can transfer a charge card, MTN share, but you can't transfer spiritual virtue. Who lied to you? You break your 2,000 naira recharge card and give somebody 500 and he receives it. And you don't believe you can transfer spiritual virtues? Who lied to you that I cannot impart upon you grace for prayer? The, my agreement with God can come on you. Listen, listen. Guys. I don't know how we think sometimes, honestly. I can tell you, I want to browse. I have 5,000 Naira in my phone, true or false. And I can say, okay, send 1,000. You just need to press a code. And your, your amount will be deducted. Abi, and then it will come to somebody. And he's just sitting down and his phone rings. Credited with 1,000 Naira. Did he work for it? You could share it because you are willing to share and he was willing to accept. Who told you you cannot do that spiritually? You can transfer health. Not healing. Health. You can transfer it. Believe me. 
If you can transfer sickness, why can't you transfer health? Please answer me. Biology teaches us airborne disease. What's the other one? Waterborne disease. And whatever you want to call, you can transfer it. You can transfer wealth. These things are first spiritual. You can receive it. If you don't believe what I'm saying, get set to struggle in this life. Because it's not by power. It's not by mind. We have ignored God's system of making things easy for us. God is not a wicked God. If you do not walk with the body, and this is all you have, you will make God look like a wicked God. Because you'll be like, oh God, help me. Let me tell you, the answer is not in heaven. Someone on earth is walking in your prayer point. And if only your heart will be open. Prayer was not just designed for petitions alone. It was designed as a spiritual system to help you grow. But most of our prayer life has been channeled towards pleading. Because we have ignored the body. Are we together? There are people in life. They may not be so spiritual. But there is, there is no time they cry for help. The help does not arise. There are people like that. Because their grandmother blessed them. And said, may you always find help. She transferred something from her. And it landed on that little baby who could not say amen. The baby grew not knowing there was such a possibility. But the baby noticed that every time I go somewhere, help has arrived. Brothers and sisters, it's a grace. There are people who... Their grandfathers were herbalists. Babalao. But they laid hands on them and said, May your eyes see. They grew up as children from age four, five. They started seeing. They are not born again. Because originally from God, they were called to walk in a prophetic dimension. But it was corrupted. Although the transference came through divination, when they get born again, God does not cancel it. It only corrects it. There is a switch of kingdoms upon which that possibility operates. That's why when an occultist gets born again, he doesn't stop seeing vision. It only comes back under the authority of Christ. I'm speaking to you by the Spirit. There are dimensions of the Spirit that are possible. See, this house, Koinonia, is a great house. This house, Koinonia, is a great house. There are all kinds of possibilities for your taking. Now, you can sit down and argue it. Is this thing real? Is this possible? Or you can say, Lord, I'm tired. It's not this hard. I'm, it's, it's not this hard. Now, for the next 10 minutes, we're going to pray. Listen, your prayer, you're not asking God for anything. You're just going to pray in the spirit. I want you to prepare your spirit for a distribution of mantles. A distribution of mantles. A distribution of possibilities. 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 Results are possible in the kingdom. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Listen. Listen. Listen, let me teach you something. There are pastors here. You have never seen the hand of God show up in your meetings. It's an insult on yourself. It's not, it's not about prayer and fasting. There are cheap possibilities you can step into. There are churches, there are prayer groups for years. You are four, five, you become 20, you come back to three. Why punish yourself? It's not so hard. Why don't you open up your spirit to receive?
there are people there's no man in your life to help you you work for everything it's a cost don't think you are making progress just because you have a job it's a cost to not have helpers show up for you there is a place called zion and god can send help to men we are a ministry that has been greatly helped by god do you believe that we are going to pray the next two to three minutes i want you to pray listen anointing is not just a spiritual thing that lands on your head no an anointing is simply an impartation that opens a dimension of spiritual possibility please hear what i'm saying an anointing does not do everything your request directs its operation are we together now you don't just say god anoint me it's not a wise prayer father everything is working in my life but this prosperity thing lord i don't see helpers arise for me i beg and i struggle for everything i get in trouble and pay for it by myself that there is an anointing for exemption lord i see that there is no influence in my life you know the area you need grace for i like you to pray like your heart will come out of your body cry for the dimension you must see in your life Three prayer points. 
I want you to pray it with fire. Because as you pray it, God will answer it. Number one. Father, the anointing for speed. The anointing for speed. That I will run. Everybody will see that this is speed. Release it upon me in the name of Jesus. Pray, pray, pray. Speed. Brothers and sisters, what you are receiving in this prayer will speak. I assure you, it will. It will. Please don't think God is playing games with you. We are not serving an idol. I show you a mystery that has made and is making my life. I know what I'm saying. Prayer point number two. Lord, multiply my results. Multiply my results. Lift your voice and pray. Multiply my results. Multiply my results. Financial results. Ministerial results. Multiply my results. Masquerade. Some of us, where we come from, you know men who are also masquerade. There is a language they use. When you see men who are masquerade, they say they cook them. Abi, they say they cook the man. That's why he can speak. That's what is happening to you now. That that thing that they say they cook a man, that you come out and it will be like charm is on you. That's what is happening. The last prayer point, or at least the next one. Listen, people, hear me, hear me. I don't know how to beg you to pray this prayer point, but you've you've had me say it. I like you to call your helpers. Listen, Koinonia, listen. Until your helper shows up, 
you can remain in one position for decades. Listen, a helper is not a volunteer. A helper is a man anointed to rescue you. Listen, you may die and not be able to move to certain dimensions until a helper arises. Listen, listen. There are many families with no helpers. There are many lives with no helpers. There are people who need jobs, no helpers. Intelligence, no helpers. It's a prayer I pray every day. Listen, there is no helper that comes on his own accord. They are called. I have seen financial helpers in my life. I have seen all kinds of helpers. Any good information that can help Koinonia, they call me, man of God, there is so and so. Have you considered it? Listen, you need them to move forward. Say in the name of Jesus. Shout it, Koinonia, in the name of Jesus. Tonight, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I speak to the spirit of my helpers. Share the word of the Lord. Show up in my life. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. prayer point. Hear me. I know what helpers can do. Where a man shows up from nowhere and says, I came to help you. There is such a thing. Listen. Listen. Many ladies are married because a helper showed up. Many people have gotten jobs. There are people I have been a destiny helper to many people. I remember someone who was trusting God for promotion. And in a meeting, I met somebody who was like um, a representative of that company. And I called the person. I said, I know this person. Please, if there is any assistance they can render, honestly, out of respect for me, that guy was promoted to a position that even surprised me. Help us. Somebody needs to talk to somebody about you. You can't talk to them. Say in the name of Jesus. Whoever needs to talk about me. For my help to come. I release you to speak on my behalf. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Oh, I release you. in now, you can't bring yourself out. It's not just by prayer and fasting. You need a human vessel to show up. We are going to pray. Say in the name of Jesus. 
every mountain standing before me every closed door standing before me whoever holds the key by prophecy I call the person open that door for me lift your voice and pray open that door says verily very I say unto you if you have faith as small as a monster say he said thou shalt say to this mountain listen every challenge in your life has a spirit component to it we are still rounding up but make sure you pray this prayer pray it with everything you have say in the name of Jesus every disappointment Every shame, every challenge in my life sponsored by hell, I declare that the powers behind those problems, you come on that judgment now. Lift your voice and pray. Every power behind the disappointment in my life. many of us God wants to bless you but your heart has been closed so you do not receive other blessings from the body this prayer is going to open you up to the possibilities in the body say in the name of Jesus I repent from criticizing the body say in the name of Jesus my heart is open to every blessing Every dimension, every possibility in the body. Therefore, I call every anointing, every grace, every mantle, every unction required for my next level. Come upon my life. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Every mantle.
you are under the anointing, please lay your hands on your head. I want to speak to you. Don't worry, instrumentalist, you can play. Exceeding. to come for koinonia and waste your time. Isaiah 48. Verse 17. Just say the Lord thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Stretch your hands towards me. I am the Lord thy God who teaches thy hands to profit. Listen. The hand of a man represents his labor. It's the mystery that brings abundance. I want to pray for you. Many of you will enter dimensions of breakthrough. 
by this prophetic act. In the name that is above your name, I stretch my hands back to you. And stand on your feet. The Bible says they know not, neither will they understand. Please listen. He told Abraham, he said, Look eastward, southward, northwards. He says, Everywhere the sole of your feet treads upon. Listen, there is a mystery of dominion. That men can hold firm grasp of territories and dimensions. I've taught you there are five elements upon which the supernatural finds expression. Number one is light, <laughs> number two, fire, number three, Wind. Number four, the earth. Are we together? One of the mysteries that we are using. Listen, the earth is a universal point of contact. No matter how high a building is, it must make contact with the earth. I want to pray for you. This is a very deep mystery. Very deep mystery. It's time for you to come into supernatural dimensions of influence. This is an impartation for influence. <laughs> listen, listen. When it was time, listen. When it was time for Jacob to bless his sons, he said, put your hand under my thigh. I'm about to speak to you and impart grace for influence. There is a grace. There is a grace. I pray for you. You are stepping upon the ground. I'm not speaking to you now. I speak to the earth. You have ears and you have doors. Hear the word of the Lord. I speak to you. According to the measure of grace that has been given to me. I pray in the name of Jesus. That every time your people are in trouble. For as long as the earth, their feet is upon the earth. Let the earth fight for them. Tell me. Job said in times of war you will be exempted because you have made a covenant with the stone. I pray for you. So as long as your feet is on the ground, may no man be able to defeat you. 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 I pray for you. As you are stepping your feet on this ground, go where you could not go. Enter where you could not enter. The unction and the grace for new territories I release upon you now. I release upon you now. New territories in the spirit. New territories in finances. New territories of influence. New territories in the name of Jesus. New territories.
Hallelujah. Listen. The last prophetic act. Still with your feet. Listen. <laughs> ah, yeah. The Bible says, Jericho was a fortified city. No man could break into it. The men, the Israelites, were not strong in themselves. And the Lord said, you are going to use your feet as a prophetic act to bring that city down. It says, walk around. It didn't say sing. It didn't say clap. Use your leg and match the earth. Make contact with the earth from which you came. Seven times. Hold on. I'm not telling you to do it. And the moment they did it, the Bible says, on the seventh day, go around seven times. And then it said, after that seven times, shout. And when they shouted, the world did not fall. It sank. I pray for you. The same way every physical mountain is connected to the earth. There is no mountain hanging in the space. It makes contact with the earth. I pray for you. In the name of the Lord God of heaven. As your feet is stepping upon this ground. Any human agent. Any spiritual agent. Responsible for the predicament in your life. If I be called of God. This night. This night. I declare. May the angels of judgment. Strike those men. Strike those women. Strike those men. Strike those men. If they will not let you go. Strike those men. In the name of Jesus. As the mystery of the earth. I smite them. I smite them in their sleep. I smite them while they are awake. May the earth fight them. I want to pray that prayer again. We are rounding up. I say it again. Whoever is responsible for the tears of any man standing here, as surely as there is a God, please hear me. I'm speaking prophetically. In the name that is above all names, that force that will refuse to let you rise, by the Lord God of heaven, that name called the man of war, Sabaoth, the adventure of men. Right now, I command those altars, wherever they are, as they are standing on the ground, may they catch fire now. Right now, may they catch fire now. 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 I release your breakthrough. I release your healing. I release your miracle. Hallelujah. In one minute, I like to prophesy and say I'm rising to another dimension. No force. Go ahead and pray. No force. No power. No spirit. Are you praying? No force. No power. No spirit. No force, no power, no spirit. Hallelujah. Every family under shame and disgrace here, I declare in the name of Jesus that that plague of shame and disgrace comes to an end now. It comes to an end now. Whatever has made a mockery of your family before men, they look at you and it's like a subject of apology. By the mystery of the body, I pray right now, let things change. Let things change. By the supply of the Spirit, let things change. Everybody here who has written an exam, who ordinarily you are supposed to fail, it would have been a carryover now. I pray for you. I sense it from the realm of the Spirit. 
I change it from the realm of the spirit. By the mercy of the God of David, by the goodness of the God we serve, I change it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Every academic breakthrough you desire that ordinarily would not have happened to you, I pray by the grace that is upon this house, step into that desire. Step into that desire. Step into that desire. In the name of Jesus. We're rounding up. Hear me. You're here and you've not committed your heart to the Lord. Please keep standing. No moving around. Jesus is not a herbalist. The blessings of the kingdom are for those who genuinely come to Jesus Christ. There are men and women here, inside, outside, thousands following us, who by this meeting tonight you have seen a need to come and surrender everything. I don't care how many times you have come out for an altar call. There is a need in your life to come to Jesus. And there are others who you have given your heart to the Lord, but you still see a need to rededicate your life. There are things that are not going right in your life and you are saying, Lord, I don't want to miss out on this. Please, we have just two minutes for this. Wherever you are, don't be ashamed, don't be afraid. First overflow, second outside, those following online. Wherever you are, you are giving your heart to Jesus. You are saying, man of God, if you will lead me to Christ, I will be glad to accept him. And you are saying, I will dedicate my life to be serious with God. Make your way to the front. Jesus is calling you. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Don't be ashamed. You're welcome. Make your way to the front quickly. Boldly and gallantly make your way to Jesus. Keep coming. God is speaking to you. Don't argue with the Spirit of God. Leave your seat and make your way to the front. God bless you. Keep coming. Man of God, I want a new beginning. A new life. I'm tired of the things happening in my life. Can God give me a new beginning? Yes, He can. Make your way to the front. Make your way to the front. God bless you. Man of God, you don't know what I've done. I don't care. Make your way to the front. Jesus can give you a new beginning. Jesus can give you a new beginning. Don't let others stop you from coming. And don't keep clapping for others if you are supposed to be here. While you are clapping, stand up and join them. Some of you, as you are clapping, you are the Holy Ghost is saying, what are you still doing on your seat? Leave your seat and join them. Don't just clap. Come. He's calling you. If you hear his voice, don't pretend that it's not his voice. The devil will not ask you to come for an altar call. The devil will not ask you to come for an altar call. God is still speaking to me. There are, there are more people. Please. We are waiting for you. Inside and outside. The third overflow. There are still people God is speaking to. Make your way to the front. Make your way to the front. Don't play games with your destiny. There are many depending on this prayer you are praying. Young and old. Rich or poor. Make your way to the front. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much for coming. You didn't come out to recite a poem. You didn't come to sing a song. Some of you are crying. Let me tell you, it's the beginning of a new day in your life. Since you were not ashamed of God and you could come and stand and say, yes, I want a new beginning. There are others still seated who would have come, but they are afraid and ashamed. Just make sure that as you're standing, you mean business with God. You mean business with God. I want you to lift your right hand to heaven. Don't lift it as if you are afraid. High to heaven and say after me from the depth of your heart. Say, Lord Jesus. Say it again, Lord Jesus. I truly love you. And I believe that you are the Son of God. You died for me to give me a new beginning. I declare that from today, I hand over my life completely to you take absolute charge and control of my life from today i declare that satan has no power over my life 
I'm a child of God. I'm a citizen of heaven. Eternal life is mine. In Jesus' name. Keep your hands lifted. Let me pray for you, Father. I pray for these gentlemen and ladies. From today, no going back. You're going ever forward in the name of Jesus. The grace to live a victorious life is released upon you. From today, I declare that the blessings upon the body comes upon you. The grace upon the body comes upon you. The possibilities upon the body comes upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. No, 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 leave him. Gentlemen, go and join them. You don't come and stand in front. Join them and pray. You had the prayer point. I know that God has touched you. You refused to come out. The Holy Ghost brought you. Say after me, I'm praying for you. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart. Lift your right hand. Say in the name of Jesus, I declare that I'm a child of God. I'm born again in Jesus' name. I bless every one of you by the power of the Holy Spirit. You will rise from glory to glory. The power of the flesh, the power of this system is broken over your life. In Jesus' name I pray. Now very quickly, hold on. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want all of you to follow the gentleman waving his hands very quickly. And as you follow him, he's going to have your details and we'll get in touch with you. God bless you and I love you from the depth. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.